Mbrakti Hawa, Brakata, Yahawasha, Brakti Hawa, Brakata, Yahawasha, Bashem, Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled As a Speckled Bird. Lord, will you are edified? Jeremiah 12 and 9. Mine heritage referring to Israelites based on the lineage of their fathers, referring to so-called Negroes, so-called Hispanics, and so-called Native Americans. My heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. The birds round about are against her. The birds that are round about is referring to these other nations. And at this time frame, we can start with the nation of Esau or the nation of Edom because they control this entire system. Come you, assemble all the beasts of the field, come to devour. Let's focus on speckled according to the Hebrew. Strong's age, 66, 41, pronounced as Tazabawai, which means colored, variegated, speckled. So this bird, referring to the nation of Israel, is being described as colored, variegated, <clears throat> and also speckled. When we focus on variegated, according to the Oxford American Writers Thesauruses, it means what? Multicolored. Multi meaning what? Having several colors. So this bird, referring to the nation of Israel, is likened to a bird that has several colors, that has various colors. Okay? That has many colors. When we apply the term speckled, speckled or variegated, Utilizing a spiritual perspective, it's safe to say that we are going to have Israelites at this day and time looking like these other nations and having what? Different shades of brown. So you're going to have Israelites based on the lineage of their fathers looking like Edomites, looking like Hamites, looking like Moabites, looking like Elamites. And this is the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Case in point. You have this Jake and this is his wife. And they have a daughter. Look at her. It's safe to say that she has the complexion of her father. Now, when we focus on their son, He has the complexion of his mother. Blue eyes as well as the hair. The mother has blue eyes and blonde hair. And so the son who is an Israelite based on the lineage of his father has blue eyes 
and blonde hair. The son looks like his mother and the daughter takes after the father. And this is an example of a spoke bird in one family unit. Now, apply this um, concept of the spoke bird throughout the four corners of the world. Do you see how magnificent Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is? Jeremiah 12 and 9, my heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. And based on this precept, it only makes sense Revelation 7 and 9. After this, I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number of all nations, Israelites, and kindreds, Israelites, and, and people, Israelites, and tongues, Israelites, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Let's focus on multitude. According to the Greek. Strong's G, 3793, Achlas. Achlas. And according to outline of biblical usage, one, a crowd. And this crowd are Israelites. One, a, a casual collection of people referring to Israelites, the elect that were saved. Revelation 7 and 13. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these? Referring to the multitude, which are arrayed in white robes. And where came they? Verse 14. And I said unto him, Sir, you know. And he said to me, these are they which came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. And best believe, John the Revelator saw Israelites looking like this as well as looking like these other nations. Okay. Lord will you are edified. Shalom.